positivity, motivation, never settle for average. You know how we do it over here. Um, I was just in watching part of the presidential debate, man. Um, personally, I'm not waiting for some uh, appointed official to help me. I'm gonna help myself. And how I'm gonna do that is by being proactive, working with other people in the community and supporting those family-owned businesses and local entrepreneurs when it comes to eating out, making purchases, and what have you. And uh, I don't know how, you know, anybody could sit through and listen to the commentary of the one individual. You don't even know what the hell he's saying. And, uh, you know, I wonder about some of these people, if they think like black people are just this ignorant, like literally, you know, we cannot get to the voting polls. We don't know how uh, to use a laptop. We're not intelligent, but yet you want our vote. This shit is some clown shit, man. I mean, literally this is some clown shit and I don't know about the rest of America, but I know that other countries watching this debate are laughing. They have no respect for the current administration, people in, in you know, running office, you know, doing their thing. You know, the uh, cost of things is through the roof. You know, the average person right now, where they were able to maybe four and a half, five years ago, go out to eat, you know, at least once a week. They're lucky if they can go out once a month. Um, housing costs, crazy. Crime, insane. Drug overdose, drug usage, through the roof. Crime, um, I think I mentioned that already, is, is uh, you know, in places where you normally wouldn't see it, it's going down. Um, the homelessness, the border, it's disgusting, man. This shit is disgusting. And you know, a lot of people, they put their head down, they don't look up, they don't think about anybody, it's all about me, me, me. You know, they don't think about uh, their neighbor or you know, the person across the street because it doesn't impact them. But then when it does, they wanna uh, scream at the top of their lungs and ask for help but they weren't trying to help anybody else. And I understand that you have to help yourself. You have to help yourself. You, you can't, you know, cry the blues and you're not trying to make progress. You're not trying to uh, elevate yourself. And, you know, people talk about uh, it's hard for a lot of people to pull themselves up. It is hard, man. It is hard. And unless you got uh, family connections, unless you have some type of network, it's, uh, it's a struggle. Even with uh, a higher education and with no felonies. You know, I have felonies and um, not really uh, anybody in positions where they're related to me that could just pull me in. So I have to put in my work. And it becomes frustrating at times, but that's life. Life is a challenge, man. You know, I've been through the system. I've seen that side. That side is ugly. You know, that side is not somewhere you want to be at. So I'm out here and I do what I can to help others through Fresh Out. And I also, you know, utilize my time to pursue other endeavors, you know, entrepreneurial, whether it be art, whether it be cars, whether it be, um, you know, clothing or some of the other stuff I, I'm involved in. But yeah, you know, it is uh, work. And even when I was at my lowest, when I didn't know where I was going to live at, um, I didn't want to go back and ask anybody to, you know, give me anything like, you know, somebody owed me something after a decade in prison. Um, I figured it out 
And I'm not saying everybody can figure it out. Not everybody has maybe the perseverance, but if we work together and we stop turning to these political figures to be our saviors, like there are gods, you know, waiting for handouts, the more you enable somebody, the, the less they're going to have incentives to do anything. You, you, you know, people talk about like, you know, the homeless and these high rises they're building for them in LA. What's incentive is there to, to get off your ass, to get cleaned up? Should be mandatory programs, mandatory cleanup, mandatory this. You got to, there's, there's got to be some type of structure. No structure. Oh, I just going to do what I want to do and still have the benefits. Life doesn't work like that, man. Doesn't work like that for anybody. You have to have some kind of discipline and some type of order if you want a civilized society where everybody can prosper and people can, can thrive. This shit is just, is just madness. And then you hear these people and everybody gets all caught up in this politics and, and everybody gets all emotional. And they're, but at the same time, what are they doing in their personal life to make shit happen? Get together with people you know, start at the local level, network, figure out through your, your, your channels and your community, how you can get involved in things, how you can network with people, you know, how you can build your, your business and, and grow your, your, your social and your economic, uh, um, brands and, um, go from there, man. But, uh, you know, I just stepped away and I'm like, you know, I'm hearing some of the comments about, you know, the black voters and, I'm hearing comments about, you know, some of the stuff they're talking about the border and sending all the money to Ukraine, man. Look, <laughs> when it comes down to war, who's going to war? It ain't these, these rich people, kids. It's the people whose kids ain't got nothing going on. The kids who are from the lower income, the, the lower middle class, middle class. And it's just like bodies, you know what I mean? Bodies, bodies being sacrificed for what? For what? We got shit going on here we need to fix. Fix the shit here. Fix the shit here before you start going thousands of miles anywhere to try to fix something that ain't got nothing to do with us. Over here, we have an uh, 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 opioid epidemic. We have a homeless epidemic. We have um, veterans who are dealing with uh, uh, a drug addiction, high suicides. We have crime here that needs to be dealt with. We have the border. We have illegal immigration, not legal, illegal immigration. Dudes coming over here, ganged up, robbing, raping, murdering, no respect for the law enforcement. Dude, it's like open season over here in America, man. Open season. So at the end of the day, you know, however you guys vote, you know what I mean? Use some common sense. But get back to your local. And these people, man, who ain't doing their job, we need to get them out of there. Get them out of there, man. These, these, these politicians who keep, they're, they're worth hundreds of millions of dollars. And what are they doing? They ain't doing shit. And yet we sit here and they steady like, oh, you know, we're going to add this tax. We're going to do this over here. We're going to do. And it's like, really? People are, all the money coming right now, everybody, it's all foreign. You got, you got these big corporations. BlackRock Vanguard buying up all the property. Unless you had a family member who left you a home, the, the odds of you in this generation getting enough money to get a home is that dream is gone, you know, unless somehow you get lucky. You work hard, two, two parent household, and you're still barely making it. What does that tell you, man? The American dream, what does that tell you? Still a great country. I, I'm, I believe in it. I'm not giving up. I'm still out here pushing. You know, I'm doing my thing, but I'm just saying for you out there, open your eyes, think, think, you know, think with a, with a clear conscience and don't let somebody blow smoke up your ass and don't get caught up with the emotional bullshit and just look around you, man. We need to get off the me shit. We need to combine ourselves and put together some we and help each other. And that's going to make the difference. That's what's going to change. I'm all for it. I don't care what nationality you are. If you believe in America first, but if you ain't with that, get the hell up out of here. Bye-bye. Go back to where you came from. If you're not America first, you're bringing over bullshit, go back. Plain and simple. You know? BigKirk916.com. Pick you up some merch, represent, share, and like the channel. And uh, leave a comment, man. Let me know what you guys think about 
this craziness. With Fresh Hop Ministries, we're doing a new program where we're doing a takeover of a mom pop cafe or restaurant and we're doing a pay it forward. So we're gonna offer free meals at this particular restaurant or cafe, mom pop, for a certain amount of time. And we are asking that you make a donation to pay it forward so that we can continue doing this program for other mom pop restaurants and cafes because we know that it's hard times out here. You have a lot of people that talk the talk, but they don't walk the walk. And so we're actually walking the walk. We've been doing it for over 11 years on social media. We've been getting shadow banned. We've been getting uh, demonetized. So we wanna give back, and this is our way of giving back to helping everybody through these trying times with this economy. You know, a lot of churches, they got hundred billions of dollars and you don't see them out here helping the people who are in times of need, but they're still taking in the form of donations, but how is it helping the community? We wanna build a community sense where we help each other, we can all overcome. You can't sit around, wait for somebody to save you. You gotta save yourself. And this is the way you do it. So by us being able to do these takeovers with Fresh Shop Ministries, with the mom pop restaurants and cafes, we wanna be able to film, talk to you guys, get your feedback on what's going on right now in society. Hopefully you guys find it in your heart to donate. This donation, which is a pay it forward, will allow us to do other mom pops around the country eventually. But right now we're gonna be in uh, Southern uh, California and Los Angeles, Orange County, so hey, reach out to your local businesses there. And if you are out of town in another area, and you would like us to come there, if you provide the necessary means, we will come there also and do the same pay it forward. But right now, hey, if you're in lo locally in Los Angeles, Orange County, hit us up, freshoutseries at gmail.com. You can also make a donation on our link tree on our Instagram at freshoutseries. Oh shit, the popos are coming. I gotta hurry up and wash my ass. Go to bigkirk916.com, pick you up a bar of soap, and wash your ass, or else you're gonna be under arrest too. Oh shit. Um, to pick up a limited edition GTA poster signed by me for $10, or with your purchase of a Wig Splitter Porsche t-shirt, I'll throw in a free poster, signed. Officially, I only got one real spanking my entire life, my mom did the best a 14-year-old could do, raising me with love and instilling values that will last a lifetime. I was a straight-A student and lived to make her happy. So how did I go astray? A horrible stepdad that stole my self-worth and invoked fear turned me into a person that I struggled to overcome. From skateboarding to selling drugs, gang-banging in the juvenile hall, I got caught the same way many young promising men get caught up. I struggled to find my identity, getting mixed up in shootouts, crime, and the adult entertainment industry. This roller coaster continued as I juggled college, hustling, and Hollywood, eventually catching a federal bank robbery case. I found redemption in prison while serving a 120 month federal sentence and came out a man on a mission. I became a social media influencer with over half a billion views on YouTube and a life coach mentoring people all over the world. This is my journey. Store and pick you up a sticker for your car or a patch or a sticker for your laptop or maybe a beanie or read one of the many books that Big Herc 916 has authored. You know how we do it.